The Schoolock Stimulus Lighthouse Alert Community answers questions on everybody's mind right now politically. But I decided to go ahead and explore this scenario that if Trump don't leave, you know, he probably don't have no plans to, you know, get stimulus or not. You know, you don't know what he's tweeting this and that every day. You know, we not partisan. You know, we with him if he giving stimulus we you know we not with them if he not giving stimulus i mean that's basically what you know this channel is about but anyway we not partisan whoever gives stimulus go ahead and give stimulus that's the, but let's just explore this idea i'm gonna pass it to my homeboy james james go ahead and take this away the school lock stimulus lighthouse alert community presents what occurs if trump refuses to leave the white house since the presidential election was required Democratic candidate and former Vice President Joe Biden on Saturday, President Donald Trump has challenged the outcome, declaring voter scams and a rigged election. Since November 10, more than 76,653,490 tallies have actually been cast for President-elect Joe Biden, who secured 290 electoral college votes, eclipsing Trump's 71,700,597 tallies by almost 5 million votes. Trump got 214 electoral college votes, according to the Associated Press. No matter the ballot count, Trump continues to be in denial of his election loss, leveling brand new lawsuits in a last minute for a come from behind victory. There are numerous actions leading up to President elect Biden's transition of power, including the deadline for dealing with election conflicts at the state level on December 8, in addition to the electors' certificates of the vote counted and signed on December 14, according to the Associated Press. Cron talked with Rice University government professor Bob Stein about what might happen if a sitting president does not abandon the White House and pass the baton to the freshly elected president. Cron, what happens if President Trump refuses to leave the White House on President-elect Biden's inauguration day, January 20th? Stein, his term of office expires on January 20th. There are a great deal of steps prior to that. Vice President Pence announces the election outcomes on January 6th. If the president declines to leave the workplace, the Secret Service and the FBI will be on the ground. The FBI and Secret Service manage the White House. At that point, I think you have a national crisis. Considering that President Trump is declining defeat, what can we anticipate in regards to the transition of power? We have about 70 days left prior to a president will be sworn in. Trump does not need to do anything. He doesn't have authorized GAO to do the shift. Eventually, Public pressure might or may not build to put pressure on the president. It's quite clear to me that there's a great deal of effort to get the president to accept the outcomes of the election. None of the claims submitted that I've seen would alter the result of the election. Does this impact national security? If you go back to 9-11 attack, and if you go back to that transition, Bush versus Gore, there was significant evidence to suggest that the transition was problematic. The people who needed to learn about potential attacks on American soil were not totally evaluated because they did not have time to digest and evaluate. It simply implies that when you have a transition, it takes time for people to get details, critical and protected details months in advance. I really believe the more severe hazard is the pandemic, being able to take a minimum of some steps for the vaccine. You've got one group that's hectic trying to win the election and another group waiting to run the federal government and in between there is a cavern. There's some proof to recommend that individuals are merely leaving the federal government. What's the real issue? No one is running the federal government. You've got the relief expense, the pandemic. You've got national security issues. It's very clear that nobody is running the federal government. 